Good morning! Good morning, my lovely people! I have missed my loves, I have missed my babies, my boys and girls. <laughs> Don't ask me what's happening. It is time for a new episode of <laughs> Raise Your Vibrations. I don't know why I feel like those like TV hosts like spin the wheel. It's time to win a car. It's, it's time to find out who your soulmate is. <laughs> I promise I have not had more coffee than usual. <sighs> what are we on? What did we learn last time? Damn. Is it my truth is my teacher? Is that today? I think it is. And you guys know there's a reason, there's always a reason when I feel like recording these episodes because that it fits so perfectly into something that you guys are dealing with or going through. And now that Halloween is soon over, I better start using this deck because I love this deck. So now that it's about my truth is my teacher. Fits very well with the Mercury retrograde with the... Uh, someone said skeletons in the closet. Yeah. With the Neptune retrograde. All videos about those retrogrades are on my channel. If you are new, welcome to the family. I hope you enjoy the content. Some of you guys might feel dead inside, I heard. Dead inside. Are you blaming someone for being dead inside? Ooh. Midnight. The most magical hour of all. Yes. What will happen at midnight? This can be midnight when <laughs> it's Hello Hello's Eve, yeah. But Halloween's no <laughs> New Year's Eve, I wanted to say, but maybe this is about Hello Hello's Eve. When the clock hits midnight, the law will be revealed. The universe will burst out and you will feel it in your body. Divine timing is at play. Let's see what else we can get with today. That was very sneaky falling down under here. <laughs> hmm, nightstone. Midnight nightstone. Hidden talents. I do feel that actually fits well with this um my truth is my teacher. There's a truth inside of you. And I do feel actually this could be something to do with a talent or something you want to create. But you are not listening to the truth inside of you. The calling of... You are actually good at singing, so why is it that you don't sing? Or you are actually good at communicating with people, or you're good at entertaining people. So why is it that you don't entertain people? You're good at reading tarot cards. Why do you do? Why do you not share your gifts? You are good at healing. You heal people. It's something that people always mention. It's a truth inside of you. I will read a little bit, and then I think that we should um, just take the cards. What was that? Someone said a truth? I didn't hear it. I, have, I had like a tingling sensation. That was weird. It's not always easy to say what you want to say. Especially if you are worried you're going to upset someone or tell them down. Yeah. No! Let them down. <laughs> Tell them down. Well, maybe that's another way to say it. Yeah. Hidden talents. Maybe some of you guys 
have had your focus on a person and now it's time to let go of someone and go after your dream desires. Or this can be letting go of another dream or another thing that you created that doesn't feel happy. You don't feel happy with it anymore. And again, sometimes it's hard for us humans to be like, okay, I don't feel joy doing this anymore. Or I feel like there isn't something else waiting for me, but I'm hiding the truth inside of me. I'm not telling myself what I want. Obviously, this can also be some about someone else. Again, maybe some of you guys want to quit your old job. But you're giving up. Comparing yourself to other people. Or care, comparing yourself to... Yeah. To something else. That's stopping you. Speaking your truth. Either by doing something you know you need to do. Revealing information to set yourself free. Or telling someone how you really feel. Maybe you have feelings. For someone that you haven't told that someone. When the clock hits midnight. The most magical hour of all. Is it like. Is it. Cinderella, right? Where when it's it's midnight, she turns again. Is it so? I can't remember the story, but is it something about that she needs to kiss or reveal? Oh, yeah, there's some that the, the prince needs to fall in love with her, right? Like truthfully. Isn't there something about that? I can be completely wrong. I grew up with Cinderella. <laughs> The old Disney movies, but I can't remember it. Isn't there something about like a, a can? What do you call these? Can, Cade, Canadian can? Uh, is there something? It's not the nightingale. I know that. Maybe it is. But there's something about that bird. Maybe you guys have hidden feelings, or you're dealing with someone who has hidden feelings for you. Now is the time. It's a huge spiritual lesson. Very true. It is a huge spiritual lef lesson lesson <laughs> for us to reveal the truth inside of us. It's the moment you step into your power and allow your spiritual energy to expand. <sighs> okay, where is the book? By the way, this is the deck. I love this deck. And I don't feel like I have used this enough while we have had Halloween. But I also, my energy has been here. But at the end of October, which it makes sense with all the retrogrades and stuff. I'm bursting out. I'm reconnecting with magical people who inspire me so much. Oh, it starts to rain. Okay. Allow yourself to relax into the darkness of midnight. You may feel this is your darkest hour, but know that the light will return again. Ooh, that hit my heart chakra. That's so interesting because I actually, with my spirit guide, Sha Shakira. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Shiva. Shiva is laughing at me. I did a practice today where she opened up my heart chakra. Yeah, and it was very beautiful. And she explained to me that I never lose the connection with my spirit guides, even through that I can't feel them, or even through that I feel lost. And she explained to me that you're actually doing everything right. You're actually on your, your way. You just need to allow yourself to rest and relax. Don't stress because divine timing is always at play. And sometimes I feel like we humans, when we are trying to manifest something, also if it's love, if we can see physical evidence of it, we start to get impatient. And we start with this unpatient energy, we start to lose faith. It's a thin line. It's like I have this picture in my mind of you being lost in a black and white forest. Like you followed a red thread. 
thread. Is that what you call it? Like a rope. And suddenly the rope ended and you're like, oh my God, where am I going? I can't see. I can't. It's dark. It's There's no colors to follow. And suddenly this bird comes along and sings a song of faith. You're getting very poetic here, people. Story time. <laughs> you are not lost at all. Because the universe will always give you guidance. I just stumbled or I just totally got sewn out because someone said to me, or someone said, the person watching, someone is there with you now. Someone is, is holding their hands over your head, trying to give you awareness. So you might feel warm, you might feel cold or a tingling sensation. There might be something with the words. I do feel all you guys are spirit guides lining up behind you or by one of your sides doing something with their hands. Pay attention to it. Give it a moment. Try to close your eyes and really cozy with the rain. How perfect. A chant, it's song. I saw, I can see uh, the clouds from here rolling in and there was like a peacock in the clouds. And I know there was something about a vision with a peacock and an owl. There's also something about a cobra, a snake. Not being afraid of it because you can control the snake. Maybe some of you guys had dreams with snakes. Octopus, that also came to mind. The dawn always follows the darkest night. Know, too, that it is important to recognize that we all have darkness within us, just as we have light, and this isn't something to hide from. Someone just reminded me about the two wolves. Because we have two wolves inside of us. Like, I can't remember. I know it's a part of one of the decks that I have. Is it the wolf of fear? What is it again? Like, which wolf do you... F do you... We have two wolves fighting inside of us. I have to find that now. Let's see, I just want to get that clear. Because there's a reason why that came to me. I will do a, a daily reading where I actually do want to use this deck because I haven't used it for a while. Blue Moon. That is the first page it opened up on. There's something about this Blue Moon. The unexpected. I trust in my life. I trust in myself and in life. So I will see if I can get it to focus if you guys want to read then you could just pause it and read it because it's actually pretty mind-blowing I love this so much here it is I have said this story so many times, so I'm not going to read it up. The first wolf gives you darkness, despair, and hate, and jealousy, and sorrow. The second wolf give the second wolf gives you light, hope, and helpfulness and kindness. And again, we feel sometimes those two wolves fight inside of us. And the point or the moral, moral of the story is that it's up to you which of these two wolves that you feed. Whatever wolf that wins is the wolf that you feed most inside of you. 
So if you feed despair and hate and jealousy, that is the wolf inside of you that will take over and that will win. But if you feed the wolf of hope and faith and trust, then that is the wolf that's winning. Okay, I wanted to take the, the, the other one, the other card. And trust me, I know how hard it is to get control over do, these two wolves because it's like the ego and you know, your higher self and the ego is not about pushing out the ego, it's about telling the ego that it's okay to feel fear but not letting fear take over. It's about controlling the wolf that's jealous sometimes. Yeah. Oh, the ruby red bird singing in the darkness full of sound like an unopened present ribbon still bound. In mythology, the night bird oh, was able to direct us towards discovering our talents and true purpose. Makes sense with the vision of the forest. It's guiding you right now. Some of you guys might have dreams tonight about that bird. Pay attention to that. Ask for a dream. Ask for it to come in your dreams. I know that I'm going to do that. Ask the bird to guide you. Someone said, let the hail roll in, and then it sounds like hail. It's very dark now. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> scary story time. Should this beautiful but shy bird sing to you by appearing during your divination, divination, know that you must unwrap the present of yourself. Look, some of the gifts within you remain unopened. Mm-hmm. And I feel like this blonde and blue full moon is going to open. It's going to make your gift inside of you burst out. And you're going to be like, oh, what is this? I didn't know I had those abilities. I didn't know I could do this. Shh, you can. The time has come to step into your true potential and claim all possibilities for yourself. There is no more time to waste. No more excuses. Well, my truth is my teacher, right? When you don't follow your truth, you put massive roadblocks in your path. If this is not mind-blowing for what this daily lesson and message is trying to teach you, I don't know what is. It's actually pretty mind-blowing, people. Okay, I can see that I'm low on one of the batteries. Okay, I just wanted to plug uh, this one in because it was turning red and I don't want um, the audio just to be gone <laughs> while I'm speaking clever words. No. So now we also have this lamp on. Oh, the pumpkin is not on. What is up with me? I have my accessor lights. You guys know about this baby. If you have seen the video I did about it, I will link it up here. Maybe you guys are finally ready for this crystal. Someone said but butterfly. There's definitely no butterflies in Denmark because it's cold. But maybe that's for someone else. Okay, let's finish up this magic. Truth is a great teacher because it allows you to move into a place of deep spiritual integrity where you honor and love yourself enough to admit what you really need to admit. Yeah, it's the perfect lesson for everything that's going on in the world. If you know you are at a point where you have something to say to another person or to your company or whatever, it's time to make some space in your life by speaking your truth.
I can hear a bird somewhere. I hear small birds moving to the south. If you have, if you are worried about what's going to happen next, then you must know that the universe always has a better plan for you. Always. And sometimes we are not allowed to know the plan. We are just guided to take the steps. And in order to take the next step, you must take the first one. True. If you want to go to D, you have to go to A, B, C, and D, right? You can't jump from A to D because then there's something that you oversee or something, some kind of tool or desire, or a compass that you're overjumping by B and C. No one said the path was easy, right? Question mark. Yeah. But this is the lifetime in which you choose to up your spiritual connection and raise your vibration and to do that you have to be honest with yourself and everyone around you. Yeah. In order to speak your truth to the world with clarity, integrity and grace, it's important to have a loving conversation with yourself. Tell yourself that everything is going to be totally cool. And that you have more than enough support around you to make this decision. Yeah. Remind yourself to speak the truth. Remind yourself. You got this. I got this. We got this. I feel this is going to be the lesson for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope this made sense. Of course it did. Someone said. Yeah. Let me know in the comment below what you think about this truth is your teacher. Because I feel like it's very empowering. It's very important for what we are going through right now. Let me know if you guys have the dream with this little bird. Or if you have already experienced something. If something rings truth. If you are in need of a private reading, healing session or removal of blocks. or information is down below. Thank you guys for watching. Again. Give me, shoot me a comment, like, subscribe because it helps me out so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.